Hey, what up guys? My name is Jake and you're watching Once Upon a Church here today where I show you guys how to be an awesome Christian. Now, if you're here because you haven't bought a Christmas gift for someone and you need it urgently, this is the right place for you. If you're new here and you want to support this channel, definitely click on the subscribe button for more content like these. I make Christian vlogs and also talk about advice and how to learn as a Christian. So I'm going to shotgun this really fast, so listen up. Now the first accessory that you guys can get is a Christian keychain right here. So this keychain here says for me, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength, they will soar on wings like eagles in Isaiah chapter 40. Whenever I hold on to my keychain, I'm always holding on to the cross right here and it really reminds me of like Jesus Christ on the cross as well because I'm just constantly holding on to it and then because I'm using my car keys a lot then I'm just constantly reminded every day about it so it's a really good Christian gift we have Christian bangles we have Christian bracelets these are not lame these are something that you really need and it's like a sign of remembering like a certain Bible verse or something that reminds you of Jesus Christ most people think it's still for girls but now it's for guys as well so charms everything it actually shows that you guys are really fashionable honestly as a Christian I don't think jewelry is something that's against the Bible unless you're really really obsessed with it then I feel like it's against God a bit but for just normal daily use I think it's okay to have some jewelry and makeup on you next up Christian clothing I think is really nice as well although there are some that I don't prefer such as ones that have a really really obvious sign of just saying Jesus like a big word right there some of them I just feel like it's too much that I feel like you're just drawing too much attention and sometimes you will draw some people who may argue with you on the street. I feel like Christian clothing should be more subtle in some cases. Take Steph Curry's shoes in there. It's actually a Bible verse. It's kind of subtle, but not really. You know what I mean? It's enough to show that you're Christian, but also not showing too much that you're actually like going too far. Because a lot of times at work or at school, if you wear things like that, you're probably not allowed to even enter the workplace. In Steph Curry's place, his one's more conspicuous and also not too showy. So it's acceptable in the NBA. Also, I feel like a lot of shirts should have something that's really short and not long. Otherwise, if it's like a whole passage on your shirt, it gets really confusing and like people just see it's like a big mess. So something that's simple is good. An example can be like this one nice and simple if you're giving it to a little infant one thing they can use is a music box a music box is something that's really useful and it can be used to actually calm a person down and also implement christian songs into their heads at a very young age simply just twine the whole thing up and just leave it be for children a bit older i recommend something more of a christian comic book Christian comic books is something that's really awesome. It's actually a really fun way to read the Bible. In fact, I was able to visualize what the Bible is saying and I can understand it a lot better. So it's definitely something that I find that'll be really good for children and even teenagers. For people who have more grown up and also people who are really interested in Christianity, you can give them books that are really good. Lee Strobel's book, The Case of Christ, is actually a really good book if you want to get into a lot of like how Jesus was crucified or like the proof behind it or the evidence based type. For a lot of teenagers and college students, I feel like this book right here by Nick Vujicic is really good against bullies. Now if you don't know who Nick is, Nick is a really inspirational Christian who's lived his life without any limbs. He is an amazing person and I really enjoy all his books and he also made books about couples as well. So this is a really good book for a lot of couples out there. Devotional books are really good because it actually can last throughout the whole year. Devotional books can be really specific to people as well. So like such as the one I have is for men and there are also others for women or teenagers or seniors or couples as well. So these books can get really nice and handy and also brings you closer to God. But if you're one of those people who can't spend time reading books like me, then this is a really nice pamphlet you can get in bookstores. Bookstores can sell a lot of pamphlets these days and such as this one, Breaking the Bonds of Fear is a really good one. These pamphlets can be really handy especially if you're in a hurry or people just like don't have time to read at all definitely something that's nice but if you seriously do not have anything in your head right now nothing at all that you just can find satisfying to give to your partner 
this is one thing that you can get. Yes, the Amazon gift card or maybe whatever gift card you have, this is actually giving them money to actually buy a gift for an elm. Sometimes we don't know what other people want and like a lot of times a gift card can be something that's really nice. So there are a lot of gift cards from a lot of Christian bookstores and that way you can actually promote someone to be more inclined to buy Christian books from the bookstore and ultimately bring them more closer to Christ. So what are your opinions on Christian jewelry or Christian clothing or even just all these presents that I just recommended? So what are your opinions about the Christian clothing, jewelry and anything that I just recommended just now? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit short but I know you guys are really urgent because it's Christmas time. Who isn't busy at all? Anyways, my name is Jackie and I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye!